This is the new Franklin A Power 2 battery, and it might just be so good of a home battery solution that Tesla Powerwall 3 fans rethink their choice. Seriously, it might put every other battery manufacturer out of business. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down all of the key features and everything that you need to know about the brand new Franklin A Power 2 battery so that you can see if it may be a good fit for your project. And make sure that you stick around until the end because I'll be going over exactly how much you should expect to pay to have this battery installed for your home in order so that you don't get ripped off with a bad deal. So let's get into it. A great place to start when looking at the Franklin A Power 2 battery is its capacity. The previous model, A Power 1, had a usable capacity of 13.5 six kilowatt hours but with the a power 2 that number has jumped to 15 kilowatt hours now over the past few years, home battery manufacturers have really honed in on what they call the sweet spot for storage capacity, which is somewhere between 10 to 15 kilowatt hours. And the reason for that is that for most homes, this range hits the perfect balance of not being so small to the point where a single battery struggles to power your home during non-solar hours, but it's also not too large to where it becomes hard to scale up your system to your desired storage capacity if you were to look at multiple batteries. Speaking of scaling up, the Franklin A Power 2 is stackable, which means that you can connect up to 15 batteries on one system. That could take your total storage storage capacity all the way up to 225 kilowatt hours, which is quite massive. But realistically, most homes will probably only need between one and three units, depending upon their energy usage and specific needs. Now, overall storage capacity is super important when it comes to our home battery systems, but arguably even more important is the system's power output. This determines how quickly the battery can discharge its energy to power the home loads. Because here's the thing, batteries can't just dump all of their stored energy at once. They're always limited by the maximum power output. And honestly, this is something a lot of home owners overlook when figuring out how many batteries they might need for their project. The previous model, the Franklin A Power 1, had a max continuous discharge power of 5 kilowatts with a peak of up to 10 kilowatts for 10 seconds. And that was enough to handle all of the smaller loads in a house at the same time, plus maybe a couple of 240 volt outlets and a three and a half ton AC. But if you're trying to power up multiple AC units or something as big as a five ton AC, you would need two A Power 1 batteries to get that job done. Franklin knew this was a limitation, so with the A Power 2, they doubled the continuous output power to 10 kilowatts per unit and bumped up the peak discharge power to 15 kilowatts for 10 seconds. They also increased the lock rotor capacity to 185 amps, which means that for most homes, unless you're running multiple large AC units or have huge loads that you want backed up during outages, the main thing you'll need to think about is your overall storage capacity goals, not so much about how many batteries you'll need to have sufficient power output. And just like storage capacity, the power output is scalable. So if you add multiple units, these ratings combine, giving you even more power as you scale up your system. Now, one really cool feature that Franklin introduces with this model is something called black start capability. Let me break that down for you. Basically, if the battery life is completely depleted, like you've used all the 15 kilowatt hours of usable energy, the Franklin A Power 2 battery keeps an extra one kilowatt hour in reserve. And this reserve is just for the battery's internal system. So it can stay on and accept solar power to recharge itself, even when it's not powering anything in your house. This is a huge deal because without this feature, if the batteries were to fully drain, you need a technician to come out and essentially jumpstart the battery. They'd have to put a minimal charge on the battery just to get it to turn back on and start accepting solar power again. And let's be honest, as a homeowner or even as a solar installer, you don't want to be stuck waiting for a technician, especially during a grid down emergency, to fix your battery. Now, you may have noticed in some of the clips showing off the battery that there's a smaller unit often installed right next to the A power units. It looks a lot like the battery, but it's actually something called the Franklin A gate. Think of the A gate as the brains for the whole system. It's essentially an intelligent transfer switch, or as some people call it, an energy management controller. So it's the central hub where all of your power sources and home loads come together. The A gate manages and combines power from different sources like solar panels, the battery, the grid, and even generators or EVs. For homeowners with time of use billing plans or those wanting to participate in a virtual power plant program, the A-Gate is a game changer because it can shift the energy loads from the house and then even send the power back to the grid to help you save money and maybe even earn revenue through those programs. Plus, during an outage, it can seamlessly switch between the various loads, making sure that your home stays powered really without interruption. One of the coolest features of the A-Gate is the ability to intelligently manage loads using what Franklin calls smart circuits. Each A-Gate it comes with one 240 volt and two 120 volt smart circuits, which could also be combined into another 240 volt outlet if you would prefer. And during the installation, you get to decide which two or three circuits in your home you would want to back up with these smart circuits, though most homeowners choose things like their main air conditioner unit and then their second largest load like an EV charger. This is super helpful because once those loads are selected, the A-Gate's built-in consumption monitors really lets you to keep an eye on and then control those loads at any given time. This is super helpful for understanding your energy habits and conserving power during an outage. For example, imagine you're away from home during 
during an outage and your EV charger is draining the battery. Well, if your EV charger is on one of those smart circuits, you could just open up the Franklin app on your phone and then turn off that load remotely or schedule it to shut off at a specific time. A lot of homeowners we also work with will assign their main AC units to one of these circuits because not only could you see how much of your home's total energy consumption is coming from that circuit, but you could also set specific times for it to run during the outage really to maximize your battery life. This is especially useful in places like California or Arizona where homeowners can utilize this feature to avoid buying grid power during the peak hours or super peak hours. It can really save you a lot of money. And this level of control is something that most other batteries just cannot offer unless you invest into a separate smart panel, something like Span. But with the Franklin A-Gate, it's built right in, making it a very smart choice for anybody looking to optimize their home's energy use. And as always, guys, if you're in the process of shopping for a solar plus storage system for your home and you would like to get a proposal for your home for the A-Power 2 battery or potentially you already have a few bids for solar plus battery systems and you would simply like to receive a comparison bid with the Franklin battery just to make sure that you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to me by using the link below in the description of the video and we would be happy to provide you with a proposal for your home. Now, a lot of people try to compare the Franklin A-Power 2 to the Tesla Powerwall 3 on an apples to apples basis, but honestly, it's not that simple. And that's because the Franklin is an AC coupled battery while Tesla Powerwall 3 is a DC coupled battery. And these two types of systems work very different and are installed in very different ways. So what does it mean for a battery to be AC coupled? Well, basically it interfaces with your solar panel system at the AC circuit breaker panel, meaning it connects after DC power from your solar panels has already been converted to AC by the inverter. Now, DC coupled systems do have some advantages like slightly higher round trip efficiency and fewer components on the wall, but Franklin's decision to go with AC coupling allows them to offer some features that DC coupled systems simply cannot offer. The biggest advantage of AC coupling is the ability to retrofit and integrate multiple solar panel systems, including ones that are already installed. With DC coupled systems, you'd have to completely replace the existing inverter setup to make it work, which could void warranties and drive up installation costs. But with the Franklin A-Power 2, you can easily add a battery to your existing solar setup or even add more solar later and then connect both systems to the same battery. Another thing Franklin is known for is making their battery compatible with a wide range of inverters, not just the popular ones like Enphase and Solar Edge, but also older and discontinued inverter brands that might have been installed years ago. If you don't like the idea of being locked into a single inverter brand or an EV charger because of your battery, Franklin won't box you in like that. They're purely a battery company, so they don't force you to use their inverters or their other products. Now, with AC coupled batteries, it is fairly common for homeowners to pair them with microinverters, like the ones from Enphase. And there's a benefit I don't hear many people talking about, which is higher power throughput. In an AC coupled system like the Franklin A Power 2 with microinverters, the solar panels and batteries work independently. The solar panels send power directly to your home through the microinverters and the battery has its own inverter to supply power too. This means that their outputs combine on the AC side, allowing you to use both at the same time. For example, if your home needs 25 kilowatts of power, your solar panels might provide 15 kilowatts and the battery could supply another 10 kilowatts, giving you the full 25 kilowatts you need. Since each has its own inverter, there's no single device limiting on how much power you can use. But in a DC coupled system, both the solar panels and the batteries rely on one central inverter to convert the power for your home. If that inverter is only rated for 10 kilowatts, that's all the power that your home can get, even if your panels and batteries could provide more. Of course, there are pros and cons to both AC and DC coupled systems, and which one is better for your home really depends on how you plan to use your batteries and what features matter most to you. Another feature of the Franklin A-Power 2 batteries that's getting a lot of attention is its support for vehicle to load charging thanks to the A-Gate. What's really great about this is how versatile it is. The Franklin A-Gate is designed to work with pretty much any electric vehicle that has a 240 volt outlet. So whether you've got a Rivian, a Ford Lightning, or even a Tesla Cybertruck, you can connect it to the A-Gate and then use your EV to power the house during an outage. This is gonna work a lot like a generator module. So in the event of a power outage, homeowners with a compatible EV could discharge their car's storage electricity into the Franklin battery, which then powers the loads in your house. And this is really a total game changer because let's just say you have one A Power 2 battery with 15 kilowatt hours of storage, but you also own a Tesla Cybertruck with a massive 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Well, in theory, during an outage, your home backup system now has 115 kilowatt hours of storage to work with. Now, the only limits here are the charge rate of your vehicle to battery connection and the total power output of your battery system. But overall, this feature opens up a whole new level of flexibility and backup power for homeowners. It's like having a second battery or even a third sitting in your driveway kind of ready to step in when you need it most. Now, if you guys have been comparing batteries for a while, you would know that one of the standout features that made the Franklin A-Power 1 battery so popular last year and really continues to be a big draw for the A-Power 2 is its generator connection capability. This is made possible thanks to a generator module, which is built right into the A-Gate. Let me walk you through how this works and really why it's such a big deal. Imagine this, there's a grid outage and your home is running on the stored electricity from your Franklin batteries, plus any solar power coming in during the day. During daytime, 
daytime hours, your solar panels are powering your home directly and the extra energy is being sent to the batteries to top them off. But around 6 to 7 p.m., the sun sets and your home switches to running entirely off the stored power of your batteries. Depending on how much energy you're using and how well you can serve it, your home might be able to run off the battery power for a couple of days. But let's just say for this example, you've only invested into one battery unit and by 7 a.m. the next morning, your battery is depleted. You know that the solar power won't kick in until around 8.30 a.m. Well, this is where the generator module comes in. Thanks to the A gate, which acts as the system's transfer switch, once batteries are drained, your portable or standby generator can automatically kick on and it'll recharge your battery to full capacity in only a few hours, ensuring that your home never loses power, not for even a moment. This is an incredible feature for homeowners who might want that extra layer of redundancy, especially if you're investing into a large backup battery system and you wanna make sure that your home stays powered no matter what. Even if your batteries run out during non-solar hours, the generator module ensures you're covered. Now, other battery manufacturers have tried to offer similar generator connection features, but Franklin's system is by far the most robust and compatible. So whether you've got a large standby generator or even a smaller portable one, and whether it runs on gas or propane, the Franklin A-Gate can handle it. It's all about giving you peace of mind and really knowing that your house will be powered even during the longest outages. Now, along with the release of the new A-Power 2 batteries, Franklin has also completely revamped their smartphone app, giving homeowners a powerful tool to monitor and control their battery systems in real time. When you open the app, the first thing you'll see is a clear overview of your battery's total storage, how much power is discharging to your home and how much solar energy is being produced to charge it. This lets you get a sense for your estimated backup time in the case of a power outage, plus daily stats like how much energy you've used from the battery and how much solar has recharged it. And as a reminder, Franklin batteries are AC coupled, which means they can charge directly from the grid or even discharge back to it. This is a huge advantage for homeowners on time of use electricity plans or anybody who wants to keep their batteries topped off during non-solar hours. Now, the app will also let you control how your battery operates by choosing between three different modes. The first mode is self-consumption, which is perfect for homeowners who want to maximize their solar energy use and minimize reliance on the grid. In this mode, the battery charges from solar during the day and switches to discharging as soon as the solar production stops. It'll power your home at full capacity until it hits the reserve limit you've set, which ensures that you always have some backup power in the case of an outage. The second mode is time of use and is really designed for homeowners with variable energy pricing plans. Similarly, you can set a reserve capacity, but the battery will instead intelligently discharge during peak rate hours when the grid power is the most expensive. This is especially useful for places like California and Arizona, where electricity rates can be upwards of 50 cents per kilowatt hour or more during late afternoons. You'll be able to manually upload your utility's time of use schedule into the app so the battery knows exactly when to kick in and save you money. And then finally, the third mode is emergency backup, which is exactly what it sounds like. So in this mode, the battery stays fully charged and ready to go, waiting for a grid outage to happen. This is gonna be perfect for homeowners who might want peace of mind during storm season or other high risk times where they just want their battery sitting full. You can switch between these modes at any time. So maybe you wanna use self-consumption for most of the year, but switch to emergency backup during wildfire or hurricane season. It's completely up to you. The app will also include a storm hedge feature. So if the National Weather Service issues a warning for severe weather in your area, the A-Gate will automatically prioritize charging the batteries to 100%, whether from solar or the grid, to make sure that your battery is ready for a potential outage. But that's really not all. The battery has also some really cool features like the ability to disconnect from the grid with just one tap. This off-grid mode simulates a power outage so that you can practice conserving energy and see how long your battery can power your home. It's a really great way to prepare for real outages. You can also monitor your smart circuits, check on your generator connection, and even customize the external LED lights on the battery if you want to add a personal touch. Now, you might be wondering how the Franklin A-Power battery stays connected to your app, especially during outages. Well, it uses three different methods, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even cellular if you install an external SIM card. As long as the battery has a working Wi-Fi connection or cellular backup, you can access Access this app and control your system from anywhere in the world, so you don't need to be on site to manage it. And by the way, guys, you can actually download the Franklin app on your phone for free right now. Even if you don't have an A Power system installed yet, the battery's got a demo mode that shows you exactly what it would look like once your system's up and running. It's a great way to get a feel for how everything works really before you make the investment. Another really exciting thing about the Franklin A Power 2 battery is its warranty. It's one of the most comprehensive in the industry, really giving homeowners a lot of confidence that their storage system will stay functional and reliable for years to come. The A Power 2 comes with a 15 year warranty and a guarantee throughput of 60 megawatt hours, which Franklin says works out to be about 10,000 cycles. Now, if you're not familiar with throughput, it's essentially the total amount of energy that the battery can deliver to your home over its lifetime, and it's measured in megawatt hours. So the higher the throughput, the longer the battery should last. But here's the catch. Once your battery hits that maximum throughput number, the warranty expires no matter how many years are left on it. This new 15-year warranty is a huge upgrade from the previous model, A-Power 1, which had a 12-year warranty and a 43 megawatt hour throughput. And when you compare it to the industry's 
standard for home battery warranties, which is usually around 10 years, Franklin's 15 year offering really stands out. If you want to put it into perspective, the Enphase 5P, for example, also has a 15 year warranty, but it only guarantees up to 6,000 cycles. Tesla, on the other hand, offers an unlimited cycle warranty, but they only guarantee 70% capacity retention over a period of 10 years. Franklin and Tesla, on the other hand, align their performance warranties with the 15 year terms, which gives people a lot more peace of mind in the long run. So if you're looking for a battery that's built to last and backed by a warranty that really goes an extra mile, the Franklin A Power 2 is definitely worth considering. Now, I'm sure many of you guys are curious to hear about what it might cost to install one of these batteries or what it would cost to install the batteries along with solar. The Franklin batteries are not cheap whatsoever, and they're certainly on the pricier end for other home energy storage systems. This is not only due to the battery having one of the largest power capacities among other competing batteries, but also due to the fact that it requires more complex installation, given that the contractors have to install the A-gate alongside the other A-power batteries and wire the A-gate specifically to support various features, such as the generator connection, the smart circuits, and supporting vehicle to load charging. The first battery you have installed, which comes bundled with the A-gate, will likely run you just under $15,000. And then for each additional battery after that, which does not require its own A-gate, it'll be around another $9,000 per unit. These are installed prices if you were to work with a contractor, so they would still be responsible for sourcing the permits, the utility applications, alongside with connecting the batteries to your new or already existing solar systems. Given the battery systems are connected to solar panels, you will be eligible for the entire 30% solar tax credit to lessen your financial burden when buying these batteries. And they are also eligible to participate in virtual power plant programs, which can lessen your cost for the batteries even more over time. Again, if you would like to receive a free quote for one of these batteries installed with the solar panel system for your home, don't hesitate to reach out by using the link below in the description and the pinned comment, and we can provide you with a free 3D model of your home to evaluate the best areas that solar could be placed on the property, and then also how many batteries you may need to meet your goals. Now, this video gave you some insight into the Franklin battery, but if you are in the process of shopping for solar, you also need to make sure that you understand the common regrets that people have after purchasing solar for your home. So make sure you check out my video, go into the five things that homeowners regret after buying solar for their home, which will pop up on the screen now. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.